The political roots of some of India's biggest politicians can be traced back to their student days. All those who opposed me in this campus when I stood for elections, all those I opposed whom when they stood for elections, they are all there in various positions which are building our modern India today. But in the recent past, Netas on campus have been in the news for different reasons altogether. The question we have posed is, the rights of this, the um, <coughs> silent majority, when looked at the so-called right given uh, uh, under Article 19 for association, free politics, if that start disrupting the education. The former Cabinet Secretary's report recommends clipping campus netas. But the government feels otherwise. Well, after the report of the former Cabinet Secretary TSR Subramaniam calling for a blanket ban on campus politics, the government has not only shot down the recommendation, but has also stated on record that it is for pluralism, for debate and for difference of opinion. And on top of it, it is for the positive role played by not only campus politics, but also student unions. How much is too much on campus? We asked the two major political parties. There has been a lot of talent that's also emerged into the political process from uh, the political process within what you call colleges in terms of student leaders and all. On the other hand, there is also an aspect that academic purposes should not uh, suffer. Most of the leaders in the country are ex-student leaders who have fought for student rights in the youth days. And it seems that this is a hidden agenda of the BJP. Recent examples of proof of how student politics when mired in controversy can get out of control. They are trying to crush the spirit of Indian students, of Indian youngsters. Democracy must be encouraged. But is there a need to also contain the disruption that's turned universities into battlefields? Bureau Report, Times Now.